how's everybody doing? Hope um, self-isolation and lockdown is treating you all well. <laughs> um, I've been very busy myself. Um, haven't had much time to do videos. Um, this one is about uh, the Irish rock and roll band Bagatelle. This is their output on vinyl over the years. Just the albums. And uh, yeah, let's check them out right now. So Bagatelle were originally from uh, Dublin. Um, they'd been playing around in the 70s. That most of the members were um, from other bands. Um, over here on left, you've got Ken Doyle bass, um, John O'Brien guitar, and uh, Wally McConville drums, and Liam Riley uh, piano vocals. Um, he was also an All Ireland accordion champion at one stage. Um, I think O'Reilly is from Dundalk. Um, can't remember now. But uh, yeah, um, this is the first album. This was everywhere in 1980. Every pub, every shop had it. Um, the band were signed to Polydor. And uh, this first album uh, contained uh, the hit Summer in Dublin, uh, which was uh, pretty big. Still is big today. Um, so, um, they. Uh, are influenced by Elton John. I think um, Liam Riley sounds very like Elton John. He even kind of looks like him in the seventies here. <laughs> um, but saying that, they are still they still have their own style. Um, yeah, Trump Card that was a big one. Rock and Roll Fantasy. Um, There's influenced by Springsteen. Um, turn the heat on. It's almost like Bob Dylan. Um, sung by another member of the band, um, Highway Blues, rock and roll drummer. <laughs> it's, a, it's a great track. Um, plenty country picking on that one. Someone in Dublin. City Lights, uh, it's kind of dark. It's like a dark kind of disco style track. It doesn't sound um, far away from. Um, oh God, I can't think of that. What are they called? Oh, Bell X1. <laughs> it's got the kind of disco y thing going through it. Um, Leeson Street Lady, that's another ballad about a prostitute in Dublin. Truck Driving Man and Say Goodbye. Uh, yeah, it's an entertaining album. I, I kind of started listening to it when I was a kid. I'd say I was only about 11 when I heard this. I had an old Maxwell cassette and uh, I just played all the time. I thought it was kind of serious, you know, it was kind of the first serious music I ever heard. Um, especially things like um, City Lights. You know, street lights cut the darkness and the winter wind drives the rain through city streets and it's about people getting killed and stabbed in the city. I, I think they're probably on about Dublin. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was pretty bad back then. Yeah, yeah Maybe it still is. Uh, drugs and all that stuff. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's quite good. This record is very... Um, how would I put it? Uh, it's kind of raw sounding, you know, it, it's underproduced, you know, it, it's got a 70s kind of production value to it. Um, strings, uh, a Moog synthesizer and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, so, you, you know, it, it's, it's, um, it's, it's probably what the band would have sounded like live. Um, so yeah, the production is pretty thin. It was produced by Chris Harding. Um, recorded at Parkgate Studio and Barn Studio, January 1980. Um, I think those studios are in England. Um, yeah, so yeah, that was, it's a good album. Um, I had it on cassette as well. Um, I don't think I've ever seen it on compact disc. Maybe it did come out. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm sure you could make your own copy. Um, yeah, so that's the first eponymous album. And the next one is just called Bagatelle as well. <laughs> yeah. 
you know, not Bagot Hill too. <laughs> they weren't going to go down the um, Led Zeppelin road. Um, this one is um, a big improvement in 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 uh, in production um, because it's produced by um, Gus Dudgeon and uh, everybody who knows Gus was Elton John's producer all through the seventies. Um, so yeah, we've got um, second violin on this. That was a hit back then, back nineteen eighty one. Uh, going back to Ireland. Uh, Love is the reason. That was another single from this. Always on my mind. The only thing we're sure. Uh, some of the tracks on this are a little bit weaker uh, than the first album. Um, Rough flight. I need you. Nowhere. Getting what's mine. Outrageous. Um, but the playing on this is much tighter. They'd obviously been touring a lot. Uh, but the production, you know, you got kind of twin guitars. Um, the arrangements are just better, you know, Gus Dudgeon is a top class producer. Um, uh, yeah, so this is the actual Irish pressing as well. You get the lyrics in here. Yeah. And um, in the old Polydor. Polydor Red Label, very very common. Polydor records were pretty good quality, you know, the, the pressings were good. Um, but there's actually another version of this album. This is the UK version. Uh, same cover. Um, inner sleeve is slightly different. Karen Flanagan, December 82. Um, I hope you're watching, Karen. <laughs> um, again, the red label. This is the UK pressing, and it's slightly different. Well, when I say slightly, um, you have um, second violin. Love is the reason. Uh, instead of um, going back to Ireland, um, turn the heat on. Uh, from the first album is re-recorded for this with uh, Liam singing. Uh, it sounds kind of overproduced. I prefer the original, which kind of more, which is more like a you know kind of American kind of maybe Jackson Brown or something like that. It's rougher anyway. You know. All was on my mind. The only thing we're sure of. Um, Trump card has put this on this one a re-recording of it. Um, so yeah. And uh, they're stronger songs, I suppose. You know, the, the the label was thinking of, you know, pushing the band further afield uh, than just Ireland. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure. They were kind of popular across Europe, but you know, small venues and stuff like that. They they never really broke into the, the UK charts. Uh, there was a lot of exciting music going on in the UK at the time. Bagatelle were just pretty simple rock and roll, whereas. Um, the um, synthesizer brigade were big in the UK. Album number three. Are we keeping you up? Um, this is from 1982. Um, produced by Phil Coulter. Um, it's a, a picture from the second album sessions. Yeah, kind of running out of ideas. <laughs> Uh, some strong songs on this. It's raining in Paris tonight. Um, Johnny set them up tonight. Again, kind of ballady, seventy stuff. The terrace. That's that's a strange song. Um, with some really strange mouth trumpet going through a pitch shifter, and it sounds really really strange. Um, moving out tonight again. Is your typical rock and roll fear. Jersey Girl, it's a cover of a Tom Waits track, and uh, they do a good version of it. It's kind of it's kind of a Springsteen style arrangement. Uh, Baby's looking good tonight. Um, yeah, it's kind of about a woman who's a gold digger. And yeah, um, the lyric is a little bit cheesy. Uh, pity because the music is actually quite good. 
farewell. Uh, the other members start singing as well here. I think O'Brien sings on that. It's um, kind of a very traditional Irish style. I can imagine Christy Moore singing that. I knew I threw it away. Um, kind of filler again, you know, Midnight Child. That's um, pretty bad. Sounds like um, <laughs> Dreams by Flevo Mac. Only. Uh, okay, look, I can't say it sounds like Dreams by Flevo Mac, but it's got that two chord over and back thing. Um, very relaxed, 70s. Kind of a bit like the Eagles, but um, it's pretty cheesy. Yeah. Um, re the album could have done without that. I Need a Woman. Um, that's pretty blatant. Um, Rhythm and Blues, um, pretty poor, yeah, the album could have done without that too. Uh, don't play a sad song. The intro notes to this sound like Elton John, uh, tonight. <laughs> yeah, so uh, there you go. And uh, Wally McConville, actually, um, his real name is Walter P. McConville. Um, he's no longer with them, they still tour. Um, I, I saw them live in 2004. I was actually chatting to the guys. Uh, Liam, <laughs> it was funny. I said, "Oh, I've all your albums on vinyl," and he started laughing. He said, "Oh, vinyl." He said, "I remember them way, way back." But uh, you know, nice guys. Uh, Ken Doyle is, is pretty cool, and a good bass player as well. You know, he's with his standing up there with his um, Stingray bass. He's got a a pretty solid sound. Um, yeah. So there you go. Um, so this was their last real big one, I suppose. Uh, their songs have come out over the years again in re-recorded form on different compilations. There's about a million different ones at this stage. Um, this is Bagatelle Gold, the best of. This is from 1985. Uh, I remember this on CD. There's definitely CD out there. So it's just more or less greatest hits. Summer in Dublin, Love is the Reason, There's a Raining in Paris, Jersey Girl, Leeson Street Lady, Rock and Roll Fantasy, Outrageous. Side two, uh, second violin, trump card, Johnny set him up tonight, baby's looking good tonight, I need you, hurting inside, All Fall Down Philadelphia, All Fall Down Philadelphia is a great track, really is, um, non-album track, Hurting Inside, that was another kind of a, kind of a throwaway, kind of electronic-y with guitar that sounds a little bit like The Edge. Um, with lyrics that don't really mean much. So um there you go. This is probably from around 1981, 82. Um because our RTE definitely had a concert on over the years. Bagatelle live in concert. And uh it will be interesting to see now. There's some clips from Shame Sakushli in Cork City as well from eighty three. But um yeah definitely there was a, there's an early 80s concert that used to be shown on RTE back in the day. And uh, I wouldn't mind seeing that. So yeah, Liam kind of more or less exclusively used the Yamaha CP70 electric piano. And he had a Moog on top of it. And he's, he's a good keyboard player, you know. He's he's a great rock and roll keyboard player. Yeah. So yeah, I, I mean, you, you could say they were kind of a pub band. But they, I mean, they did write some good songs. Um, now this is... Uh, from 1987 and this is where things kind of fall apart I think I paid 50 cent for this or something um, second violin is on it again I think with kind of kind of a kind of a alien pipe Irish -y thing in there um, thinking of you turning with a kiss from heaven this is a very um, Synthetic album, lots of keyboards. Yamaha DX7 owns this album. <laughs> Only Love, Heartache. Cry Away the Night is probably the best track on it. Um, love Ballad. A bit like Elton John again. But it's got kind of synth drums and synth bass and synth this and synth that. Um, yeah, they're gone from Polydor at this stage. And um, yeah, engineered by John Etchells. Yeah, 1987, mm, not a great year for um, Bagatelle. <laughs> uh, but then, 
team went off into this solo stuff and uh, yeah it's on the Harmac label so um, yeah this one you know you can forget about it it's, it's best forgotten um, the sleeve is even horrible you know if it was a gate full it'd be something but it's just got you know the, the tracks here and uh, yeah uh, ugliness all around my friends so yeah that's it um, I can't even get it back. I can't even get the sleeve back open. Um, it wants to be played. <laughs> so that's it. Um, so I could tell. Um, there's other. There's lots of CD compilations at the moment, and all that kind of stuff. But this is the albums, and uh, I hope you enjoy this video. And if you do, feel free to subscribe. Um, hope everybody's taking care of themselves out there. And um, thanks for watching.